Here we go, look at the Oculus stuff they sent us. And we're going to be looking at Robo Recall. It's a good one. One of the highest rated VR games. Yeah, that's the bold statement. One of the highest rated VR games ever made, which is why we chose this one. So you're taking this one. We'll Because there's no this horror one. in it. Bang, bang! Not for me. So let's go on uh, Monster. I mean, it looks pretty good. Not monsters. monsters, mate. Not monsters. It's in the name. Yeah. Bobots. 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 Let's go. <laughs> Select character. Robo Recall! The, one of the, well, in fact, pretty much the highest rated VR game ever. It's insane. I was blown away. <laughs> I was really blown away. This is kind of what we'd hoped when playing Vive, that the Horde Mode style games would actually do. Correct. And it's been out for a while, and we didn't know. And it came out in March, and we never got to play it because it's on the Oculus. But we did get to play it, and you hammered this one. It's. I'll tell you something, just really quickly. I've not enjoyed a VR game since Raw Data. That game blew me away. You love your action ones. I do. You but, do. Um, and we've played loads since, and just nothing's nailed it. Whereas this one is mind-blowingly good and immersive. Yeah, we're going to sound super shilly here because obviously Oculus are providing this stuff, but not even. Not the even reviews do speak for themselves. Yeah, the reviews well. do speak for themselves. It's not a case of like, oh my god, Oculus Games a game. Isn't this a great review? No, not in the least. This game is fantastic. Uh, so it is a horde-based, horde mode style wave-based action game. Yes. With a variety of robots and guns to kill from and a score attack essentially. Yes. But it's what it lets you do in the VR world that makes all the difference because the story is pretty irrelevant mm -hmm. it's not what this game is about it's about the gameplay and immersion take us through the stuff that you started doing once you were like i can do this now <laughs> which is what is always a thing so i remember when we played the john wick vr yes it was like can we open the boot of the car because that's what you think about when you're in vr it's like what would i actually do here in real life is can i open the boot and create a shield mm -hmm. and then you can and you're like oh my god and there's like shotguns the and the boot and things yeah, yeah exactly but this took it to the whole next level which was takes it going go, go on it was really good. so anyway you basically get a cutscene at the start where you're watching a news bulletin and all around you are robots. Now, this news bulletin is talking about defective robots around the city and ro robots revolting. And these robots start to stand around this TV in the shop window. And they all basically, like when, it, when the article finishes, they all turn around, look at you and pounce on you. And then we cut to what you are. You're basically an agent whose job it is is to remove defective robots. Yeah, you're kind of a Blade Runner type thing. Kind is one of, way yeah. of looking at it. Yeah, you're uh, you play Agent Thirty Four, who's an employee of Robo Ready, who makes the 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 robots. Now, you start off in your workshop. You can uh, you can walk around. It actually shows you all the varieties of robot. You've got them on display in your workshop. Mm -hmm. um, there's a gun range. There's uh, an area for leveling up your weapons, which you unlock as you progress through the games and do challenges. Not only weapons, but mods for the weapons that you can add on as well. Um, like laser sights, torches, increased clips, make them fully auto. There's so much customization, but when you get actually into the game itself, the be it's, oh my God, mate, I can't describe how amazing the gameplay feels, how quick it is, but not so much in terms of, whereas in raw data, You've got your gun and then you've got the clip on the side to keep reloading. It's not as, um, what's the word? Not a simulation, I want to say, as that. Ah. Whereas this one is, you've got two pistols on the side of you, which you start with. So you use them when you're out of ammo, you drop them, you pick up two more. Mm -hmm. There's a short cooldown, so you can't just like... Bah, 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 yeah, like the Borderlands exactly. replacing weapons, yeah. Um, and then when you start unlocking things like the sawn off shotguns. <laughs> now, this is so much fun. Like You'll be killing the, the, the standard droids, and a big one will land next to you. So you'll, you'll maneuver around them, which we'll get into the maneuvering in a bit, in a minute. And then the sawn off shotguns are over your shoulders on your back. Exactly. So you drop your pistols, take the sawn off shotguns out and just blow it in the face. But not only that, he's, he's then got the combo system, which is where it's looking for you to excite in an almost Correct. beautiful Joe style way. Yeah. Which is not enough. Killing stuff is fine. But then you look to the games like your Bayonettas and stuff, and it's the style in which you do it. Absolutely. That make the game better. Because everybody, there's, there's so many games out there, certainly on VR, that we can check. And it's, it's like there's something like three or four a week sometimes, mm -hmm. which are like serious Sam style, where you'll be put in a corner with a, a selection of guns that you just kind of cycle through. You, yeah. There's not that immersion of pulling the shotguns from over your back or something. You'll just kind of flick through them with the thumbsticks. Yep. 
and you'll just get enemies coming straight towards you. Mm -hmm. Whereas this is in a 3D environment. They're coming from all yep. over environments. And then it's all about the style in which you do it. Because I particularly saw you rip off the head of one robot and throw it into <laughs> another yeah. robot and then shoot and juggle that <laughs> coming off the back it's, of it. Yeah, I mean, like, as soon, when you finish a section of the game, um, when you when you hit a certain criteria, the remaining robots will run away. But you can, this is where you can experiment as well, because you've still got the points, but you're not against time or anything. You can grab one that's running away and you can pull all its limbs off, its head off. You can throw it into the air and then pull out your pistols and see how long you can juggle it, obviously, with an increasing multiplier. But the other things that are at your disposal in this game, I only found through trial and error. I didn't, I didn't want to read up what's available to me. I mean, I'm sure there's a way of finding that out as well, but it's things like once they start to shoot bullets at you, you can grab the bullet in midair and throw it back. Yep. The same with rockets. Like you'll grab a rocket, you don't have to throw the rocket. It holds onto it. You turn it and aim it and just let go of it. Yep. But also things like your pistols or your guns that you're carrying, when the bullets start coming in, you get a ping pong bonus if you smash your gun into it and it fires the bullet back at them and kills That's them That's what well. made the difference. That's it's what so made the, that, the difference with this and one. The, what I was a bit curious about the movement because we've not got a real true 360 environment because of the sensors. But the way they get around that is it's the like the thumbstick and move where you'll project to where you want to move to. But once you've initiated that thumbstick move, you can then rotate the thumbstick to what area you're facing. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't become discombobulating. So there'll be later on mobs where they've got a shield in front of them so you're going to want to teleport behind them and turn around real quick and then that's when you obviously you move there you pull your shotguns out and you, you drop them so it's all in all mate i mean even it's multi-layered platforming as well you could be stood on the street on a car roof on like an overlay of a building on top of a building even though there'll be like four or five buildings in the areas you can go from building to building height to height it's completely polished Brilliant. Well, the summary of it for me was just, it's, it, as you said earlier, it was experimentation. Like, yep. often when we're playing horde mode stuff, you kind of like, your ex excitement comes from what is the next weapon going to be? Am I going to get an assault rifle? Am I going to get a rocket launcher? Am I going to get a sniper rifle? Because they're always great in VR. He's Absolutely. Sniper rifles and stuff like that. Uh, but then going back in, because it is obviously, it's the base of the game is the simple horde mode stuff. But when yes. you go back in, and you're looking for, well, how did somebody get, especially because uh, what's great also, as some, when I was watching you play it, is the live viewer, which is on the PC itself and not mm -hmm. in the, the VR, actually gives you all this extra information. Yep. It gives you like score what's going on with the scores, worldwide rankings in real time, and it starts multiplying it up and seeing where you're going. Is that's when you're like, what are they doing there to do that? And then you're like, oh, I can catch all these rockets now, and then I can throw them into these yeah. areas, and then I can catch the heads and the arms that are coming off those, and then do something crazy with those. Yeah. So that is why this was definitely one. And uh, Oculus were like, you should play this one when you get it. You should play this one when you get it. We totally saw why. So a definite plus for anybody looking to pick up the Oculus Absolutely. is you're gonna have a good time with this one. Worthy of its score. The best, the best VR game. I don't. I mean, I like the best VR game. I like I different say. kind of games. Is all I'm going to say. It's it's <laughs> it really good. simple. It's really simple. It's fast paced. There's a load of variety, not just for your weapons, but the environments, the terrains, the robots, the mechanics of the game. It's all so intuitive. A really good game. I'd stay in that headset all day. It's just so weird how the difference it can make in VR when you can pull things over your back and you can pull it just and you it, can physically grab I mean, yeah. and rip and tear. But like that's, that's things the as thing well, that makes like the holding difference. a robot by the throat and using it as a human shield while you're shooting over its shoulder and then just tossing it into a pack of them. Yeah, that is good. So if you like really that one good. and you still think really about the Oculus, check out the other one, Wilson's Heart, that we did previously. Uh, which is Voiced by horrible. Robocop, mate. Scary one, <laughs> scary one. But we've got another one to look at, and we're going to be looking at Lone Echo, space one. Ooh. Space. space. See you guys. <laughs> Peace.